Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today I have a an ammo review for you, 9 millimeter, 115 grain, ball ammo, range stuff, <clears throat> from a company that you may not have heard of, and that is Scorpion Ammo. They are a local company here in Arizona, specifically up in Tempe, uh, so let's get into it. Now, if you like this sort of content, please don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Sharing is the easiest way to get the channel out there to help the channel as far as getting it in front of people leaving a comment hitting the notification all helps with the algorithm uh, i do appreciate it out there to all of my members of the channel everybody who supports the channel let's get into the ammo my relationship with scorpion ammo has been something that's been about a year in the making um, again so i like to work with and I like to promote companies that are local, that are Arizona companies, things like that, uh, assuming they put out a good product. And a good product this is. So this is the last 50 rounds of a 1,000 round case that was given to me by Scorpion to check out, to run through the paces, to form an opinion on. I'd never shot it before. Um, and they said, hey, will you do a review on this? Absolutely. So a little bit about Scorpion ammo first. So Scorpion has actually been around for, I think, a little over a decade, maybe even about 15 years. Uh, however, uh, under previous ownership, uh, it's gone under new ownership about three years ago. <clears throat> Basically a complete turnaround, uh, complete re-outfitting uh, of machinery, complete re-outfitting of of personnel and things like that, and especially complete re-outfitting of quality control. I say that because <clears throat> I don't know this. This comes from Scorpion when talking to them, that apparently pr the previous owner had quite the quality control problem. Um, so if you have heard of Scorpion and have heard of quality problems, <clears throat> understand that it seems like those problems have vanished. It went under new ownership about three years ago. They didn't sell any ammo for a year because they were, again, re-outfitting the company, uh, new machines, uh, new uh, quality control uh, specifications. They wanted to turn the company around and make a product that they were proud to release, that they uh, knew was going to be consistent, reliable, and put it out there on the market. So they took a year off, had a bunch of that stuff going on actually went through and bought back a bunch of bad ammo that customers had and re-outfitted those customers with good higher quality ammo that they were now making so <clears throat> the desire to put out a consistent quality product for ammo on the market uh, was paramount for them especially being a somewhat no-name smaller company knowing how hard it is to get into the industry to work their way into the industry uh, being a smaller you know relatively unheard of company i got a chance to talk to i believe it's the owner um i got a chance to talk to the owner at a uh industry event at a, at, a, at a firearms event that I'm not allowed to say because last time I did I got I got uh, in big trouble with YouTube for some reason but I got to talk to him and he's a competition shooter and he said he doesn't want to put out a product that he won't use uh, he said I want to put out a product that I will use in competition it needs to be reliable it needs to be consistent um, and it needs to be priced well enough that the masses can buy it in, in, in quantities and in, in high quantities like that, like a competition shooter does. Um, and I think that's what they have found with this 115 grain nine millimeter. Now that's enough with the history lesson. Let's get into how this performed, how I like it, where it's priced at, and would I suggest this to people that are looking for local companies or support small businesses and things like that. Before we get into the individual rounds itself, how they perform, just understand that this is ball ammo and that's exactly what this review is about. It's about how well this performed as range, as training ammo. Uh, there's not a wow factor here. They're not hollow points. They're not super hot rounds. They're not subsonic rounds. They're just standard range ball ammo. Now they seem to be made well enough 
Uh, they are consistently loaded. Uh, I have miked the length on them at a random amount of rounds. I think I did five or six rounds out of random boxes over the 950 rounds that I've shot. And they were all the same to each other. So that's good. A, 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 they're, they're, they're quality control of consistent loading in that in that fashion is right there now outside of that they're fairly plain jane looking rounds um, again ball ammo range training ammo they're not a wow factor um, there's not like they have sealed primers or anything like that um, but they are assembled and seem to be uh, assembled very well now i did chrono these against two very popular brands being magtech and pmc bronze uh, both uh, both of those being 115 grain as well because I wanted to see how this performed not necessarily in the feet per second uh, as much as the consistency what was the variation from high and low uh, of feet per second in the uh, in, in a five round group so let's check that all right so to compare the uh, scorpion 115 grain 9 millimeter to a couple of other popular range brands. Uh, we're going to go with PMC Bronze and Magtech, both 115 grain, very popular uh, companies, very popular ammo. Uh, so let's chrono all three, five shots each, and see where the Scorpion lands. So I'm starting with PMC Bronze. 1101. This didn't register. 1102. 1088. 1096. So we're right at about 1100. 1090 high, 1090s. Now for Magtech. Magtech 115 grain. 1098. 1080. 1085. 1088 and 1138 that was actually quite a big difference there uh, but we're still looking at right around that 20 feet per second ish variation in five rounds and now five rounds of scorpion scorpion 115 grain 1045 1056 1057 1072 1078 so still looking at that 20 ish feet per second range uh, of variation this loaded uh, seemingly a l not quite as hot it's in the uh, 1050s as opposed to the 1080s or 90s but still very much on par with the consistency of other major brands now i've run this through a few different guns i've run it through stock glocks i've run it through compensated glocks um, i've run it through glocks that have uh, lighter springs lighter striker springs um, and i've not had any issues with light primer strikes i've not had any issues with not being able to cycle the firearm uh, as it pertains to the 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 compensated one so not only are you looking at consistency in the loading uh, but you're also looking at around that seems to cycle just about anything it looks it would it would appear that compensated not compensated things like that isn't an issue for this ammo now prices have been all over the place over the last you know three years or so price has been all over the place uh, but as of right now uh, i looked up a couple of different prices a couple of different like i looked up pmc bronze um right before i started making this video and the price difference in the Scorpion and the PMC Bronze was about five cents around. Um, I can't tell you the total price because YouTube hates it when you do that. Uh, but it was about five cents around. It looked like on Ammo Seek, it was ranged anywhere from as far as new manufacturer, not remanufactured stuff, because remanufactured stuff is considerably cheaper. Um, but as far as new manufacturer stuff, it looks like they are falling as a small business without the buying power, without the mass of purchasing that some of these big big companies have which enables them to drive their own prices down quite a bit um, still at a small business they are priced 
under 10 cents around different, closer to five cents around different, and that gap is even smaller depending on the website you go to and sales and things like that. So as far as competitively priced for a small business, I think they're on par. So that is Scorpion 9mm, 115 grain range ammo. Again, not a wow factor, it's range ammo, uh, but compared to some of the other ammo companies out there that we've seen pop up in the last year or two, especially the Turkish ammo companies that seem to have <clears throat> about 50-50 issues um, and when it comes to hard primers and you know reliably cycling, you know I've I've done other reviews before where I've had trouble cycling with certain compensators and things like that. Uh, this seems to be of high quality, not just built of high quality, uh, not just built consistently, uh, not just built reliably, um, but I mean even down to the packaging. These are this by every metric that I've been able to measure it by. This is high quality, good range ammo priced within a competitive price range. <sighs> Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Look at the pinned comment. There may or may not be something down there that helps you find Scorpion, uh, but check out that pinned comment. I do appreciate everybody's support. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. It all helps the channel. You can become a member of the channel. Very inexpensive. You get video previews, things like that. Um, massive thank you to my current members out there. Uh, you guys are awesome. And to everybody else out there, sports channel, you guys rock. We'll talk to you later.